Welcome back, everyone, to Let's Play Fallout 3. You're here with Randall Lafeev, otherwise known as Drax Craven. Fucking albino red scorpions. Anyway. Huh. The alien homing beacon has been marked on our map. How convenient. I'm gonna go back to Megaton and drop all my shit in the box. Probably drop off the alien weapon, too. Just saying. This thing kind of makes the game unfun. You're welcome, Lucas. Actually, let's go see Bigsley. Is that his name at the Jefferson Monument? Nah, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Um, toss all this shit in the pile and go. That can go. That's Stan. Don't need the drone cannon or whatever the fuck that thing does. Um, don't need the space suit. As as nice as it's had it's been to have around, that thing's going back on the pile. And now I have all these large and small alien crystals I can use to purchase things if I so desire. Any other cool weapons in here? Double bear shotgun, drone cannon, yeah, yeah, yeah. We've seen you before. Oh, where's vengeance? Oh, no sign of vengeance. Oh, don't tell me I left vengeance on Fox and now he's missing. Oh, well. Man opener? Man opener. Um. Gauze rifle? Hmm. Death claw gauntlet. No, no, no. Oh, I gotta go find the unique. Um, the unique combat shotgun. Later. Later, of course. I'll take the backwater rifle. Why not? Alright, let's do it to it. Let's do it to it, Ginger Jackson. I don't know what that means. Woo! To the Jefferson Memorial. Bum 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 bum. God damn it, Grognak. Oh Jesus! What the fuck? Oh fuck! The Enclave are back for more. They got robots. There's some poor traitor who's just gonna die. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I forgot. Vats gives me superpowers. Ow. Um, nah, fuck it, let's aim for the head. Oh, Jesus, that appears to do nothing. Oh. Ow. God damn, you are a beast, scribe. Nothing. I just want to congratulate you. Hot damn. Nice work. Nope. No, no. I wanted to look at this guy. Nothing out of the ordinary. Well, sucks to be you, scavenger. Ooh, we got a flamer and flamer fuel. Sucks to be... It's awesome to be me, scavenger. Awesome. Missiles? Why did you need the missiles for? Eh, who knows. Also, it's a lot of Dead Rivet City security. Also, sorry, bro. So much Dracopura. It's a lot of dead security officers. Oh, now we have water pack Brahmin. All right, that's pretty cool. Let's go in and see what's going on. My guess, you know, brother, standard brotherhood, tip top shape, all the good shit. Besides, how could you fuck up Project Purity after we've done so much? Hey, Alex. Hey, good to see you. I heard you had a bit of a problem getting the purifier started. Sorry about that. We're looking into exactly what happened. Anyway, it's great to see you on your feet again. 
We wouldn't be here now without you. That makes sense. If you can figure out what went wrong, you might be able to figure out what happened to Sarah. Uh, where's Dr. Lee? Oh, well, she, uh, after what happened to you when the purifier started, I think she just kind of had enough. Okay. It was really hard on her, you know? First losing your dad, and then the Enclave, and then the Brotherhood taking over here. It was really just too much for her. So I guess she packed up a few things and headed off north, towards the Commonwealth. Hmm. Rumor has it there's a scientific community up there. I sure hope she finds what she's looking for. I bet Zimmer could give her a reference. So what are you doing here? Me? Well, I figured after all the work we already put into this place, we could help the Brotherhood keep things running smoothly. Right on, Alex. Out pretty well so far, I think. They're not necessarily the friendliest bunch, but I've been doing what I can to get along with them. All right, I gotta go. Catch you around, Daniel. No, I'm busy. Can we do this some other time? Still a prick, aren't you? Yeah. Fuck off, Daniel. That Chinese pistol was mine. I gave it to you, you piece of shit. Hell. A lot of scribes all lined up. Oh, fuck, Bigsley? Jesus Christ, man, you look... Show up. You look awful. Did Lyons give you a little congratulatory speech? Then you won't mind if I don't offer you one? Thanks to you and that little friend of yours cranking up the purifier, my life's become a living hell. But the heroes of the Wasteland probably don't care about that! Uh, I'm sorry, who are you? Excuse me, I'm Bigsley, and I'm just a tad stressed out. Perhaps you saw that little line outside my door? Sounds like you have your hands full. Everyone was so excited about that purifier. Project Purity this, and Project Purity that. But did anyone stop to ask, Hey, what are we going to do with all that clean water? Well, guess who gets to fill in that tiny detail? It, 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 it'd be one thing if I had support, but that, that little war with the Enclave has depleted much of the Brotherhood's resources. And to top it off, I have to be mommy to a bunch of lab coats. Is there anything I could do to lend a hand? Really? Well, yeah, there's plenty of things I need help with. I figured as much. But most of it's pushing papers and knocking sense into giant eggheads. Eh, a task for any acolyte, really. I'm sure I could put your experience and talents to far better use. How can I help, Pixley? Well, I've got Rivet City water caravans needing help with some uh, unusually organized bandits. Need someone to go investigate what that's all about. And then there's Megaton. They want more Aqua Pura. I just sent a shipment to them. Need someone to go visit Megaton and see what their problem is. Hmm. Griffin's up to something with the Aqua Pura over in Underworld. Do you know something about that? By which I mean, I know you know something about that, so what's up? Not that it's really any of your business, but we have an arrangement. He buys water, I send him some. I use the caps and tech he pays me to fund the other water deliveries. I send my men with the water to the museum authority on the mall. Griffin sends the payment back with my men. So far, so good. Lions wouldn't approve, but I don't really care anymore. I need the resources, and there's certainly plenty of water to go around. Hmm. That's a sticky situation. It certainly helps Bigsley to keep him in business. Um, but Griffin is really ripping off the people of Underworld, people who kind of can't afford to be ripped off. We'll see what I can do about that. Uh, I think maybe Megaton is trying to con you out of some water? I don't know what to think. I got lions breathing down my neck about it, though. Apparently, Megaton's sending him nasty letters demanding a shipment. I just sent them a week's supply. A month's if they ration. Look. If you can straighten out Megaton so I get lions off my back, I'll make it worth your while. Alright, I'll see what I can do about that. Really? Oh, that's great. Uh, hey, don't worry about it. Oh, and uh, of course I'll have a little something for your effort. Thank you. What's this about Rivet City Caravans? Don't get me started about Rivet City. They feel entitled to everything. Always whining about how they're our scientists and all that crap. Like they did us a favor. Thought the security deal we'd worked out with them would be you know, a win-win. And my hope was they'd completely take over the water caravan escorts by now. But I got Officer Le Pelletier 
bitching about an organized bandit syndicate. Guess they don't have the chops after all. I need you to go visit Officer Le Pelletier and lend a hand. All right, I'll see what I can do. Great. Hopefully you can get them straightened out. We really can't do this without them. Is that everything, Scribe? Uh, all right. Okay. Oh, God. If you want, you can sit around and listen to Scribe Bigsley deal with the utterly mundane issues facing Project Purity on a day-to-day -day basis. Some of them are pretty funny, and some of them have, like, pretty simple solutions where he just sort of, like, shakes his head and gets upset and is like, Fucking do this! You just do it! You press him! But alright, let's let's deal with this holy water problem. To Megaton! Bum 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 Yes? Oh, I thought you were the doctor. I was wondering what the fuck was going on. Is there someone outside Megaton who knows about the water? I know I gotta go inside Megaton. What the Should fuck? He asked for water, and I thought I was helping him, not killing him. What the fuck did you do? What happened? I just gave him some water I picked up on the way through Springvale. It tasted pure, and it looks clean. How was I supposed to know? It's okay. You you couldn't have known. Where did you get the water? I thought it would help him. It was supposed to be holy water. The man at the monastery in Springvale said it was blessed. He gave me this pamphlet along with the water. Called himself Brother Gerard. You can find him on the road through Springvale. They said they had lots of this holy water. Please do something to stop them. Jesus Christ. Goodbye, water beggar. Yeah, this holy water is irradiated. It's basically dirty water, which he says will kill him. Crow, how you doing, buddy? I mean, I'm here to buy. Clothes make the man. And here are the means to remake Do you have any ammo? Yourself. No, just armor. Of course. How could I have been so silly? I know he's the armor merchant, but I figured he had something else. Alright, let's see what the pamphlet says. Good people of Megaton, your salvation is at hand. We are the apostles of the eternal light. To heal this wounded city, we are willing to provide any and all supplicants with cleansing holy water. Come to our monastery in Springvale, and Brother Gerard will minister to your every need. We will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of light. I can't feel my legs. What did you do to my legs? Frank? I can't see you! Frank! Frank, what, what did they do to you? Well, that was horrifying. We'll get to more of those later every once in a while. Hey. What? What? Hello? Hey. Weary traveler, welcome to the Monastery of the Apostles of the Eternal Light. Oh, but you must be parched. We must drink deep of the water of light so that it may sanctify our tongues and render us purified for discourse. Ah, uh, this shit's irradiated, bro. Oh my god, fine. I'll drink the fucking irradiated shit water, you stupid bastard. I can see the glint of Adam's light in your eyes. You have purified your tongue with the holy water. So now we may speak. How Wait. may this servant of the eternal light serve you? Are you like the brother of Adam? No, no, ours is a modest order. But our ranks are growing slowly as others hear our words and are enlightened. As our luminescent mother says, where others walk only in the dying waste, we offer the path of eternal light. And to spread goodwill, we offer this holy water to any and all supplicants. You, you know this water is full of radiation, right? It's full of Adam's light, if that's what you mean. 
brighter and warmer than any water I've ever seen before. Blessing of the holy water is overseen by Mother Curie the Third, our luminescent mother. Funny. But her work keeps her busy within the monastery at all times. I need to get in. I'm afraid it is not open to the unenlightened. Your presence would contaminate our great works. However, if you are willing to be baptized in Adam's holy light, then perhaps I could allow you to enter and meet our leader. You mean I have to be irradiated to be allowed inside? Yes. Call it what you will. We simply will not allow any who do not bear the light. Make your way to our tabernacle, pilgrim. Pray to Adam to fill you with holy radiance. Bask in the glow of Adam's eternal light. Okay, fine. All right. Just, 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 okay. All right, let's go to Big Town. Woo! Oh man, I left Sticky in Little Lamplight. He's probably died of exposure and starvation. Not my problem. Fuck, this is not irradiating me enough. Drink it. Drink the shit water. Fuck. Man, maybe getting 10 and 9 endurance. Pardon me, 9 endurance wasn't all I was cracked up to be. Just drink it. Just drink that water. Just slurp it up. Jesus Christ. That's... That's super weird. Why are all these barrels flopping around all over the place? All right, I'm only a little irradiated. I'm fine. I'm fine. Now will you let me in? To our mon uh, please. Thank God. Fuck. Oh, is there? Is there more? Are there more like radiation sorts? Activate radiation trap. Cool. Does not seem to have done anything. But there's radiated radioactive material over there. I guess I didn't have to go all the way to a river, but I'm glad I did. It took less time. I can feel Adam's warmth. For too long our world has been barren, and our people have become empty. Their hearts have become dry and cold, and thirst consumes the weak and- Hey. Oh, oh my! I wasn't expecting a pilgrim to our shrine. We're hardly prepared for casual visitors, I'm afraid. You must have made quite an impression on Brother Gerard. He's a lovely boy, but rather strident. I hope he wasn't a father. Oh, but where are my manners? I'm Mother Curie the Third. And I lead the apostles of the eternal light. What can I do for you, my dear? You can stop. Just stop. I need to talk to you about your holy water. Yes. If you wanted some, I'm sure that Brother Gerard would have gladly given you a bottle or two. We don't charge for charity, you know. How do you make your holy water? It was a gift from Adam. I was meditating right here in Springvale when four of his armored angels came to me. When I said I was from Megaton, they gave me barrels of aqua pura and said I should share it with my people. They were very clear on that. Naturally, I understood Adam's message. And so I've been busy blessing this holy water and sharing it with the world. Fucking Church of Adam. F gee, fucking lazy Brotherhood of Steel fucks. Are you from Megaton? Yes. All right, this shit's yours. You handle it. Please stop. Contaminating the Alcapura. Don't be silly. How else will we spread the word to the unenlightened? So many misunderstand Adam and fear the glow of his light as a thing of destruction rather than humanity's next step toward perfection. With this marvelous holy water, Fuck. they drink without fear, and by the time the glow consumes them, they have no need to fear ever again. Because they're dead. You can't trick people into enlightenment. They have to accept it. One cannot be forced into salvation against one's will. 
To do so would be unjust, even in Adam's name. Perhaps you're right. We must not use deception to spread the word of Adam's light. To do so would be to make a mockery of salvation itself. We will stop using the aqua pura for our holy water. We will save our ministrations for those who seek us out. Thank you. All right. That'll do for this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. Holy fucking shit. You know what? I just, I'm level 30. Who gives a fuck? I'm just... I should have just gone in there and just killed everyone. Been like, problem solved. Killed an old lady. Solved your problems. Woo! Anyway, that'll do for this episode of Let's Play Fallout 3. If you liked what you saw, like... If you want to continue the adventure, please hit subscribe. And if you think that what I do is really keen, you can send me a couple bucks monthly on Patreon. And I can use that money to do fantastic, amazing things like make more videos, start streaming, hire an artist to make cool shit, and do the coolest thing I can think of. Shut down crazy cults. Good night, everyone.